this tutorial, we will be making an idea generator. The idea generator will generate completely random and sometimes crazy ideas, like this one here. Usually delete an always laconic idea. New idea. Quickly like a tremendously quiet Samsung Galaxy S21. Implicitly hate an always laconic Samsung Galaxy S22 Plus. Usually procure unusually terrible life. So let's get started. First, let's make a file called words.py. This is where we will store all the different possible words. Let's start by making a class called noun. This noun class will be used for all the nouns. That way we can keep track of variants and which article to use. So every noun needs a different article, a, an, or the. So let's add an article parameter to the init function. Let's start by defining the article. Every noun also needs a name. So let's add a name parameter. The name will be whatever the noun is, like dog, cat, phone. So now, since we need a list of nouns, let's create an empty list of nouns. And every time you call the init function, it will append self to the list of nouns. Now we need some way to get the noun for the noun class to return what you need to put on the screen. So define get. For now, let's just return self.article and self.name. Okay, now we should define verbs. Since verbs don't have different variants and verbs don't need the articles, let's just define it with a list. Same for adjectives and adverbs. Now I'm going to fill in this list and you can too. Now let's create a couple nouns and then we can start the fun part. I'm just going to make a few simple nouns like dog, cat, and phone. Let's go to main.py and let's import our words. Let's create a function to get the idea. Okay, and so first we need to get some random information. So let's import the random module. So the first part of our sentence should be a verb because we want it to be something like this. So a verb first, then the article, then the adjective, then the noun. Okay, so to get the verb, we will do verb is equal to random.choice words.verbs. Then we can print our verb. Now let's run this. Okay, so we got one error. Okay, so we got one error, and that's because I forgot to put the articles in first. Okay, so now when we run it, this should work. Now an object has no attribute name. Oh. Okay, there we go. So now, when we run it, we get a random verb. Drink, recompense, discover, create, in your, paint a picture of. So those are coming from this list I made right here. Okay, and now let's make a text variable, which will store our idea. And we can add to it as we need. 
Now let's add a space after that and let's get a noun. Okay, so noun equals random dot choice words dot nouns. And then let's get that noun. And so now let's go ahead and add the verb to our text. So the zeroth element of noun should be the article. And the first element should be the noun itself. So let's do text plus equals noun zero article text plus equals noun one. Now let's print the text. Eat a dog. We forgot the space here. And you're a dog. Okay, so this is actually working now. And now add an adjective. So to this list, let's do an adjective. Adjective is equal to random dot choice words dot adjectives. Okay, and text plus equals adjective plus another space. Words module has no attribute ADJS. There we go. Blow up a dangerous cat. So this is actually starting to work now. Let's capitalize that first letter of the sentence and add a period at the end. So text plus equals period and to capitalize it, you just do dot capitalize. Now to run it, consume a stupid phone, make a small phone. So this is actually working now. Now instead of printing the text, let's return it. So now we can add in a server so that we can make this into a website, like, like I showed you before. So I know in the title I said I was going to use Flask, but that was just to get all the Flask users over here so I could tell them that Quart was better. So Quart works exactly like Flask. It just uses a sync, which makes it a lot faster. So app equals Quart idea generator. Okay, at app.route slash, so this will mean the home page define home. You, don't, you can call this function whatever you want. Let's return get idea. Okay, and then at the end, let's do app.run. For REPL.it, you have to do this. Okay, now I'm going to run it. Okay, so now every time we reload, it should give us a new idea. Now let's make it a little more advanced. Let's add an adverb at the beginning. But let's also make the adverb optional. So we'll use random to decide whether or not we use the adverb. We use an adverb or not. Okay, so to add the adverbs, first we're going to want to do adverb is equal to random.choice words.adverbs plus space. Okay, text plus equals adverb dot capitalize. Okay, we can remove this dot capitalize from the verb because we added it on the adverb. Now if we run, loudly assist a safe dog, quietly procure an unsafe cat. Okay, so now we have adverbs working. 
Our next step is to make adverbs only there sometimes. Okay, so to do that, we're going to make an if statement. And we're going to use random.getRandBits. That will get a random bit that can be interpreted as a Boolean value, which basically means it's either true or false. Now we can indent this, and so only if that is true will it run this. Okay, so see, only sometimes it has the adverb in front. Okay, so that isn't capitalized, so we need to fix that. So to fix that, let's move this adverb.capitalize to the text at the end. So we'll capitalize the first letter of the text at the end. Now, if we rerun this, yep, it's working. Now we need to add support for noun variants. Okay, so let's add a variance parameter with with the asterisk in front of it, that means that you can put as many of those as you want. So, for example, a iPhone 5, 6, 7, 8, as an example. You can put as many arguments, and these will all be turned into a list of variants. Okay, so now let's set self.variants is equal to variants. So in the get function, let's get a variant. We need to import random to do this. Okay, and so now we can return the variant after that. So by variant, I mean like, yeah, iPhone 5, 6, 7, or 8 because we don't want to have to make a new noun, a iPhone, a iPhone 6, a iPhone 7. We don't want to have to do all that. That would take way too long. So we can just do this. So to choose a variant, we get a random one from random.choice and we return it along with the rest. So the variants would be the th the second item in the list of nouns. And so then we can add a space after the noun and text text plus equals noun two. And so up here, we want to make sure that there's always a chance that there will be no variant. So instead of like a iPhone five, it could just say a iPhone. So let's do that in star variance. That will spread, that's a spread operator. And it will spread the variance out into that list. So it can either be nothing or anything in the variance. Now let's run this. Eat, allow, cat. See, no variant, because you can see an extra space there. Implicitly delete a tiny phone. Just keep reloading. Oh, see? Variants are working. Okay, so now let's add a lot more nouns. Okay, so I added a lot more nouns, including, well, the Samsung phones. So now we have all the iPhones, all the Samsung phones. Car, software, game, life, death, the force of nature, the universe, the planet, Earth, and a computer. So now there's a lot of different things that can show up there. But let's take a look at this, our website here. It's not that well styled. I mean, it just shows a little sentence in the corner and there's no button to get a new idea. So let's fix that. First, we're gonna wanna make a new folder called templates. The templates folder is how Flask and Quart help you render an HTML page. So in templates, let's make a file called index.html. Now in our main.py, we're going to want to from court import not only court but also render temp template. Okay, and so now here instead of just get idea, we will use render template. Render template index.html and we'll set 
idea equal idea equals get idea. So, so in here, we're just going to want to make a normal HTML file, and then I'll show you what to do after that. Okay, so now, wherever you want the idea to show up, Flask and Quart have this special system so that inside these two curly brackets, you can put, you can put a variable name. But only variables defined this way. So idea equals get idea. So whatever that returns will be set to the idea variable inside of here. So now we have that. Let's try running this. Okay. I forgot to await it. We need to await it and add a sync right here. Okay, now run. Cons okay. So now, as you can see, it's in bolder text. So now let's center that text. We're going to use, just simply use the center tag. I don't want to get into any CSS here. I have to rerun first. Okay, so see now that text is centered. Let's make it a little bigger. And then let's create a button. And now, when this button is clicked, we want to reload. Okay. Now let's try this. Yep. Gives us a new idea every time we press the button. Let's move this button inside the center tag. Reload. Now we have a simple little website that makes ideas. Now see that see how there's sometimes an extra space afterward? Let's fix that. So that extra space is caused when there is no variant. So right here where we add the variant, let's do if noun two, then we will add the space and then add noun two. Okay, let's try that. Yep, that fixed it. So now we only add the space if noun two is not empty which noun two is the variant. So if the variant is not empty, then we will add the space. Okay, so now this is working pretty good. Now I know I said I wouldn't get into any CSS here, but this website needs some. And I created a CSS library just for cases like this. I can just import it and it can make my website look better. Now, any of you can use a CSS library or you can create your own CSS to use. I'll have the link to the CSS library in the description. Now, thanks for watching. Bye.